Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at Technical Products and Service Supplier Company, Diploma PLC. The company has a market capital of £1.45 billion and is currently ranked 112th in the UK FTSE 250 index. In the financial year to September 2018, Diploma had a turnover of £485.1 million and an operating profit before tax of £72.7 million, which gave it a profit margin of 15%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 2%, which is paid semi-annually in January and June. This dividend is covered 1.95 times by the earnings per share. Diploma was originally formed in 1931 and listed on the London Stock Exchange in 1960. Through the 1970s and 80s, Diploma built leading market positions in three core activity areas, all in the UK. In the 1990s, these traditional core businesses matured into cyclical, low-margin businesses. A new international acquisition programme was introduced to diversify into new core, attractive sectors. John Nichols, the company non-executive chairman, is currently the interim CEO. Johnny Thompson will take over on the 25th of February 2019. He is currently Group Financial Director at the Compass Group, PLC, where he's worked for nine years. Diploma PLC is an international group of companies which employs over 1,700 people. Its principal operating businesses are located in the UK, Northern Europe, North America and Australia. It has three sectors. Life Sciences, which includes Diploma Healthcare Group and A1 Group, supplies consumables, instrumentation and related services to the healthcare, which is 85% of the revenue, and environmental industries, which is 15%. It employs 426 people and was 28% of the total company revenue. The SEAL sector includes Hercules Fuel Power Group, Kubu, FPE SEALs, M SEALs, Kentec and WCIS. It supplies SEALs, gaskets, filters, cylinders, components and kits for heavy mobile machinery and specialised industrial equipment. North America accounts for 60% of this sector's revenue. It employs 821 people and is 43% of the total group's revenue. The control sector includes IS Group, FS Cables, Cablecraft, Philcom, Clarendon Speciality Fasteners and Horco. It supplies specialised wiring, cable and connectors, which represents 59% of this sector's revenue. Fasteners, which is 21%, and control devices, 20%, for technically demanding applications. This sector employs 542 people and was 29% of the total group's revenue. For the previous five years, Diploma has had a consistent revenue of between 305.8 and 485.1 million pounds and an operating profit margin ranging from 14.1% to 16.3%, which gave it an average of 15.2%. The forecast for next year is a 9% increase in revenue to around £530 million and a margin of 17.5%. With generated earnings for the previous five years of between 36.1 pence and 56.4 pence per share, the dividend has always been covered by at least two times the earnings per share. Diploma has achieved double-digit earnings per share percentage growth for the past three financial years. The share price standard deviation for 2018 was 103, compared to 1057 for the FTSE 250 index. The current share price is 53% above the 52-week intraday low. In the trading statement of 28th of March, the group announced it continued to trade robustly, with sciences sector revenues up around 16%, seal sector up around 4%, was driven by strong trading activity across North America, control sector was up around 6%. The net cash funds were in excess of 16 million. On the 23rd of April, Richard Ingham will take over as CEO at the conclusion of the board meeting on the 8th of May 2018, at which time Bruce Thompson will stand down from the board and retire from the company on the 30th of September 2018 after 22 years as CEO. On the 14th of May, the half yearly report, revenue was up 8% and profit before tax was up 8%. Life Sciences underlying revenues increased by 9%, SEALs was 9% and Controls 3%.
On the 22nd of August, it was announced the acquisition of FS Cables, cash consideration on a cash and debt-free basis to be paid on completion of £17 million before acquisition costs, which will be met from existing cash resources. The 29th of August trading statement, revenues were up 7%. Life science sector reported revenues are expected to be up around 6%. Seals underlying revenues have strengthened further in the second half of the year and are expected to grow by around 6%. Control sector reported revenues are expected to increase around 7%. In June 2018, the North American seal business disposed of its engine transmission gasket business for net asset value of around £4.5 million. Also on the 29th of August, it was announced one week after the acquisition of SS Cables, Richard Ingham, less than four months in the role, stepped down as CEO with immediate effect. John Nicholas, the company's non-executive chairman, agreed to take over as interim executive chairman until a permanent replacement CEO was appointed. On the 12th of October, it was announced the acquisition of Actios SAS, the parent company of Gremtech Group of Companies, for an undisclosed consideration. Financial end results reported the 19th of November that revenue was up 7%, profit before tax was up 9% and earnings per share were up 13% and was a free cash flow of £60.5 million. The 16th of January 2019 trading statement said that life sciences sector reported that underlying revenues were up 4%, seals were up 11 control sector were up 24 cash funds at the end of 2018 were around £28 million, and also that a CEO had been chosen. Johnny Thompson will join the board on the 25th of February 2019 as Chief Executive Officer. With positive updates throughout 2018, the share price has risen, which is reflected in the price earnings ratio of 20.7, compared to the FTSE average of 16.2. Diploma pays a dividend yield of 2%, compared to the FTSE 250 average of 3.18% and it is covered 1.95 times by the earnings per share. Cash funds at the end of 2018 were around £28 million. With the company having three diverse sectors, life sciences, seals and controls, it becomes a non-cyclical supplier with a stable annual revenue. However, almost 26% of the total 2018 financial year revenue was from the North America seals sector for aftermarket and industrial OEMs. Hopefully, Diploma can now draw a line under its problems replacing the CEO when Johnny Thompson joins on the 25th of February 2019. There's a combination of organic growth from its existing operations, as well as using its strong cash flow for complementary growth from acquisitions to supply essential products and services. For these reasons, I've given Diploma an overall rating of 3.5 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments below. And also like and subscribe for further analysis of UK company businesses.